Watch Mike Harrison in this extraordinary footage of a big Apophiosaurus block he finds. Here's a small Apophiosaurus ammonite he's got just to show you what's in the big block that he found back in the winter months. Well, I said I'd find something along this stretch of the coastline and uh, here I can see Mike from at Mike Harrison's fossils. He's using the old ski skiing effect there it's an unusual thing i haven't seen him do this often but here he is <laughs> wow there's improvisation going on here amazing look at that Oh, look at all the fossil wood in it. You know what that one is, don't you? Oh, amazing. And the Apophiosaurus bed. Yeah, look. Wow. Fossilised wood from the monkey puzzle tree. Little ammonites. Actually, that's a piece of pebble. <laughs> There's the ammonites. Better ones round here, though. Oh wow! See why I'm dragging it up? Yeah! Now? Get it away from the sea taking it. The sea will destroy those rapidly. What great improvisation! Is that a uh, wheelie bin lid? A wheelie bin, there's the rest of it over there. Look. Got washed up a couple of days ago. Oh yeah, look, there's the uh, wheelie bin washed up down along the coast. Everything being washed up here we take the plastic home when we get it well what a wonderful block of apophiosaurus ammonites there were to see in mike's big stone on the beach and we will show you that going from grime to shine he'll do the work on that to prepare the fossils this is a metal frame rucksack that i take out with me during the winter months just in case occasionally when a really good block an ammonite bed appears, I need that brace against my back to carry such fossil finds back along the Jurassic coast with me. Here's some of the stuff I found washed up, some of the plastic rubbish. I'll take that back and recycle that. I'll use it on my guided fossil walks. Here on the beach too, I've got with me, just to show you some of the more recent finds, a belemnite, a really reasonable belemnite with the fragma cone there, the hollow chamber at the bottom you can see where the creature protruded out from. You find lots of belemnites along the Jurassic coast, that's something you will pick up quite uh, quickly when you get down onto the beach. You'll see many of those little bullet-like shapes with sharp pointed ends. They're fun to see and uh, quite a nice thing to pick up. The kids always find those and a bit more rarely a fossil sea urchin in the flint you might find one of those or a sea urchin just sitting on the beach the best tools your eyes or scrabble around underneath rocks sometimes they're just sitting there i saw a really lovely one a young chap found this easter holiday it was a really good specimen i use sturdy gloves uh, when i'm doing any hammering of the right rocks and there's a bit of the bubble wrap just some leftover bubble wrap you find on boxes and stuff that always makes really good wrapping for the fossil finds you don't want to damage them anymore when they're in your rucksack as you carry them back along the jurassic coast and here's the hammer i take out with me a hickory handled hammer it's a good weighted hammer for tapping the right rocks with safety glasses on i always take my safety spectacles on there's plenty of one-eyed geologists so finally, a really nice block prepared by Mike Harrison, a block of little ammonites he found at low tide is a nice piece to show you just at the end of this video so you can see some of the current preparation Mike's done to bring those little beautifully preserved ammonites out in calcite. So thanks very much for watching. I'm going to put some of the different videos we've been doing lately on at the end here for you to have a look at and see if you'd like to watch any of those particular videos we've made along the Jurassic coast showing you how to look for fossils. They're very good educational videos, one or two of them there, to show you how to use your eyes to pick up the pyrite on the beach where fields of pyrite occur. The sea's done a bit to scour out these certain pockets on the beach and those are the ones you must concentrate on for fossil finds.